Objective, to prepare a 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution and standardize it with sulfamic acid and use it to determine the molarity of an unknown sulfuric acid solution. Safety, safety goggles or glasses, lab coat, gloves, and closed toe shoes must be worn. Preparation of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. First, calculate the volume of three molar sodium hydroxide needed to prepare one liter of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide using this formula. Clean a one liter bottle and rinse thoroughly with distilled water. Obtain 3.0 molar sodium hydroxide. Pour it into a beaker. Using a 100 ml graduated cylinder, measure out approximately 33 ml of sodium hydroxide. To be certain the solution is mixed thoroughly, fill the one liter bottle halfway with distilled water. Add the 33 ml of the three molars sodium hydroxide to the one liter bottle. Next, fill graduated cylinder with distilled water and pour into the one liter bottle and repeat twice. Now, add enough distilled water to fill to the top. Screw cap on and shake vigorously. Put a label on the bottle. Standardization of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. Check out a burette from the stock room. Use a burette clamp and attach it to a ring stand and clamp burette in place. Rinse with three 5 ml aliquots of distilled water and let it flow through the tip to be sure it is not clogged. Now use three 5 ml aliquots of your sodium hydroxide solution. Remember, you always rinse measuring devices with whatever they will be measuring. Fill burette with sodium hydroxide to the zero mark or close to it. Weigh out about one gram of sulfamic acid on a weighing paper using a centigram balance. Label three more weighing papers. Fold papers on the diagonal. Log in prior to weighing the weighing papers on the analytical balance. Weigh paper number one and record the weight to 0 0.0001 gram. Repeat with the other two weighing papers. Next, divide the one gram of sulfamic acid in two thirds. Transfer one third of the sample to the weighing paper. In the balance room, weight the paper with the sample to 0 0.0001 gram. Repeat with the other two samples. Next, label three 250 ml or 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask and transfer each sulfamic acid sample to the appropriate labeled flask. To each flask, add approximately 25 ml of distilled water and two to three drops of phenolphthalein. Record initial burette reading and add sodium hydroxide solution in a controlling manner. Place the flask containing the indicator and sulfamic acid on a white sheet of paper or paper towel to make the endpoint easier to see. When you start to see the pink color while adding sodium hydroxide, slow your rate of addition. The pink color will persist longer and require swirling. At this point, Add sodium hydroxide by the drop until you get a pale pink color endpoint. At the perfect endpoint, the pink color will disappear after 30 seconds.
Record the final burette reading. Refill the burette. Record the initial burette reading and titrate the second sample to the pale pink endpoint. Record the final burette reading. Repeat for third sample. The contents of the flask may be disposed of in the sink. Rinse out with distilled water to use for unknowns. Prepare the following table. Calculate the molarity of the sodium hydroxide solution from each trial. Then calculate the average of the three determinations. Use this average value in your subsequent calculations using the sodium hydroxide solution. B, molarity of an unknown sulfuric acid solution. Record the number of the sulfuric acid unknown. Fill the burette with your standardized sodium hydroxide. Record initial burette reading. The sulfuric acid will be measured with a burette. Take two clean flasks and using a burette containing the unknown, record initial burette reading. Dispense 20.0 ml of the signed unknown sulfuric acid into each flask. Remember to record final burette reading. Fill the other flask. Remember to record final burette reading. Add two to three drops of phenolphthalein to each flask. Titrate the unknown sample to a faint pink endpoint. Record the final burette reading. Refill the burette if necessary. Record the initial burette reading and titrate the second sample to a light pink endpoint. Record the final burette reading. The volumes of sodium hydroxide should agree within 0.2 milliliters. If it is not, perform a third titration. Prepare the following table. Calculate the molarity of the sulfuric acid. These samples may be disposed down the sink along with any remaining sodium hydroxide solution. Remember to rinse burette thoroughly with distilled water. Filling it three times with distilled water and letting it drain should be sufficient. 